One of the keys to working with AutoCAD is efficiency and using efficient editing techniques. One way to quickly modify an object is through grips and grip editing. Now you can drag grips to perform any kind of stretch, move, rotate, scale, or mirror operations. Grips are small, solid filled squares that are displayed at strategic points on objects that you have selected. Let's open up an example file so we have something to grip edit. Go to this chapter's project folder and open up the blocks and templates imperial file. Now when grips are turned on, you can select the objects that you want to manipulate before entering a command. And you do that by selecting an object. So if I select this arc, I can see that it has one, two, three, four different grips. And the grips are those blue boxes. Now to use a grip mode, you just select the grip just by clicking on it. That turns it into a hot grip. It turns red. When I do that, I'm able to manipulate that object in specific different ways. Right now my ortho is turned on, so it's constraining what I do. Essentially this is executing the stretch command on the endpoint of this arc. I'm going to turn off my ortho. So you can see here I'm moving that vertice or that endpoint of that arc. Now some grips, most of them in fact, will have different options. If you just hover over the arc, don't click it yet, don't make it a hot grip, just hover over it, you'll get some options. Now, on the endpoint of an arc, I have two, stretch and lengthen. We just saw the stretch, but then the lengthen option allows me to either make the arc longer or shorter. Now I can type in the distance, I can type in an angle, or I can just left click somewhere. Now on the quadrant of an arc, I have two options, stretch, which is using the stretch on that midpoint, or radius. Now I'm shrinking the radius, and the center point stays the same. Now the center point grip of an arc is just a move command. Now a lot of different objects will have very similar types of grips. This is a block, it has some grips. This is a, specifically a dynamic block, which allows it to do certain things. That will depend on the block itself. If I have a line, I select it, I get my hot grips. The endpoints again are just like with the arc. I can stretch it and lengthen it. It's a stretch at the same time there. And then I can do a, just a lengthen. Shorten it, make it longer. And the midpoint is just the move command again. Now if I have a circle, there aren't many different types of grips on a circle. I have my quadrant grips, which will just change the radius. Or I have my center, which will allow me to move it. Now different types of objects will have different types of grips. So it's really cool to find out what they are. Now you can select multiple grips at a time. So if I select this line, select the midpoint and the endpoint, this becomes a move command and it's going to keep these relative to each other. It's kind of like still doing just the center point. But if I select another object and I select by holding down shift, just that one grip as well as that grip, I'm changing both of them relative to each other. So I'm changing them both according to how I move it. So if you need to keep objects like this line right here, you need to keep that same distance apart, you can. You can grip edit multiple objects at a time. So keep that in mind as something you might want to do. Hold down the shift key first, select your grips, and then you can move both items accordingly.